all my exes live in LA. So listen up for a little dash of Swedish goodness brought to you by First Aid Kit as a feature.
talking with me today i am really really curious to dive into book of fools because i feel like this is one of the most i don't know it just feels confident it feels relaxed it's so enjoyable to listen to can you tell me how the process and journey first started for you in making this record that i have been playing on repeat yeah I, it process feels like the right word we didn't know what type of record this would be but we knew we wanted to make it more slowly and so this process started with us coming together. Some good context maybe is that we're all from North Carolina. We went, we met when we were in college and we basically lived together, both physically in the same house for a while and then on the road for six or seven years pretty relentlessly. <laughs> Holy cow. Ahead of the <laughs> pandemic and during the pandemic, all of our world shifted. And before that, a couple of us had moved out of North Carolina too. And when we were getting ready to, to approach this record, we thought it would be good to kind of like get to know each other again ahead of getting to know whatever these songs were. And so we had a number of writing retreats. We demoed out stuff at a level we never had before. And we knew we wanted to record it live to tape. It's so awesome. What if the sun keeps screaming and the day beats down? I 
watching the Starry Eyes Book of Fools. And is that one of those moments where you're like, we started with this song and then we thought maybe we could do this song together because there's like a time signature switch, like halftime. It's very fun. Our producer, Shane Leonard, had the idea of putting those songs together when we were still demoing. I don't know. He just had like a moment, a, a little epiphany, like what if we tried to do these together? And so we, from the time that we were demoing the songs, Like a sense of that. 